from the foundation of the earth is what God will do with your life but you need to return you need to allow him to restore you and when he restores you <laughs> you'll overcome you'll pursue and overtake you'll pursue and overtake <laughs> he's busy he says I want you to help me why can't you put me on e on an electronic Bible school he says I want you to put me on electronic Bible school you mean one Bible school entire electronic one six pence one entire electronic Bible school ta we are a global village now we are pastoring people all over the world we need them to get into the into the Bible school he said because Kuroko are busy yeah. he says I want to be theologically correct <laughs> I want to be doctrinally correct because I'm just doing these things the power of God is just working in his life he tries to, to go and pray with the pastor Mtamangira every Tuesday he says I just need to be discipled I just need to be discipled when your jubilee has come, when the, the ram's horn begins to ring in your life, nothing will stop you. Yeah. Nothing will stop you. Hallelujah. I want to say to you, your dignity is coming back. Your dignity is coming back. Your dignity is coming. Let me tell you, some of you find, some of us find dignity in sort, all sorts of things. We think that maybe because you can't want to See, this guy was saying to me, says, in and I walk into Zuma's office anytime. I walk into all these people's there. But I realize it's, it's, it's not me. And this one was really so, so. Yeah. yeah, I don't want all those things anymore. Yeah, I've been in this thing for 25 years. I don't know where you are seeking your dignity. Let me tell you, Jesus is the one who will give you dignity. Real dignity. Yeah. Your connections are not really the issue. You need dignity that comes from God. A dignity that will last. Let's stand up together. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be his name. Blessed be his name. Hallelujah. Um, because uh, we prayed, uh, I took some time to pray. We are, all, we, are, we are just going to pray for 30 minutes after and have Holy Communion and finish our fasting today. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because we want everybody to partake uh, this Holy Communion. One of the things that are critical when we enter Jubilee, e covenant. Covenant. Yeah. Jubilee talks about a covenant. You become a covenant person. And told Nakuti we see when the children of Israel were leaving Egypt, but Pinda they entered into a covenant. Because each one of them was asked to bring a lamb, a blameless, spotless lamb, which was split and blood was taken out of that lamb and it was put on a doorpost for every one of them. They entered into a covenant with God. Everyone. So, many of us need to understand why we actually take the emblems on a regular place when we are actually fasting and praying. We are enforcing our covenant. Because the benefits of Jubilee are related with the covenant. Hello? What are you going to the benefits of Jubilee are related with the covenant. For God to fulfill that covenant even to the fourth generation of the children of Israel, it was because he had, uh, he had entered into a covenant with, Mo, with Abraham. Genesis chapter 12 and 15. He entered into a covenant. A 
and he was obligated to fulfill that covenant. It's since we have entered into a covenant through Christ Jesus. So God is obligated to fulfill the Jubilee in our lives. Hallelujah. So when we take it, we are actually bringing to remembrance. Bringing to remembrance. Yeah. And I want us to understand that when we enter into a Jubilee, we also bring an offering. We want to bring an offering. So today, I will ask you, Kuti, when you are now bringing your entering, I mean, Chichita, your, 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 your my emblems, why don't you bring something as an offering to God? I'm not talking about your, your, your normal offering. I'm talking about a covenant offering that you are going to give today. A sacrificial kind of offering. I'm not talking about the normal offering. You're going to take your normal offering. But I will ask you to, to actually bring an offering of your own size so that God can indeed say, Nari. Some of you, your offering can be actually giving yourself again. <laughs> You need because there are certain parts of your life you have not given to Jesus. Maybe you may not have anything to give. Why not give your life? Why not sacrifice something in your life? Why not make a decision? Say, God, I am bringing myself, I'll give my time. I'll sacrifice this. This is what I'm going. But I want you to understand God demands a sacrifice in every covenant. That's why when we come and, 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 and become children of God, God demands that you give your life. Hallelujah. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's a free thing. Iowa, you are giving your life. When you become a child of God, we are asking for your life. Jesus is asking for your life. Yeah. Paul says, it's no longer I that live it. But Christ that liveth me, the life that I live now, I live to glorify Jesus. So maybe I'm also going to see that. Yeah, because we are sacrifices that keep walking away from the altar. No go is proper altar, the next thing wabuda wabutism. Some of us need to give our lives to Jesus. Yeah. Commit your life. Some of us need to give time. There are some things that God will speak to you as we do this thing here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Truku is an air. Kuna Sungano, we are Truki Tapano. We are promise keepers. God made some promises to us. Jesus made some promises to us. And we made. And God expects us to keep our side of the promise. Do you know Oh, I give you my life. I give my I mean, we sing all those kinds of songs, but they are just lip service. The life is yours, but you say you gave it to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, no, Jesus, I am busy. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, you are busy. <laughs> if God will say, I will be busy also when you are praying. Can what the new and the demonic? I will be busy. Huh? My goodness. Ah, I have some things to take care of. Yeah. I have no time. I'm a jubilee man. Hallelujah. And we begin to quote scriptures as if God <laughs> out God has amnesia. God has no amnesia. It's not like Pastor Chiriseru who forgets and suddenly come, come. Let's fellowship again. Uh-uh. God is not like that. 
He says, go back where you last, we last talked. You said you are giving your life to me. I want it all. I want everything. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, I don't know now what I wanted to do. <laughs> but I want us to pray. Yeah. And Pastor, Bia, Pastor, you will take over. And then I will come back and do the 30 minutes prayer. But I want just to pray. Now. Hallelujah. Let's just stand up all together. Stand on your feet. Father, we come to you. Muzita Rajes. We thank you that we are covenant people. Takapinda Musungano Europa. Ropa Rajes. The blood that is more precious than any other things. So, Lord, we believe that the children of Israel, as we enter into this Jubilee, we emphasize Sungano Yedu Nemisha Jehovah. We are covenant people. We know you're a promise keeper. You keep your word. Lord, help us to keep our word. So that we be men and women that are dedicated to you in everything that we do. So Lord, I pray for your children. Even as we are going to break in prayer, Father, I pray that the things that we have been praying for may become a reality in Jesus' name. And the people of God said, Amen.